Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using select query to get multiple search results from checkbox controls. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting the mobiles. Search. See here we got the results in the grid view control. It's displaying only the mobiles. And I select laptops. Search. See, and the grid view is showing only the mobiles and laptops from the product catalog table. When I select TV, search, the TV also we got. If I unselect anything, mobiles, search, and notice the mobile is removed from this grid view control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Multiple Search Checkbox. Click OK and I am selecting empty from the templates. Click OK and here the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. I am creating a new web form page in this project. Right click the project name, add new item. I am selecting web form, the web form page name is multiple search checkbox and and here we got the source page of the newly created web page now I'm adding the center tag between the form and do tags center tag h1 asp.net select query to get multiple search results using checkbox list bind search results into grid view control horizontal line now after the horizontal line, I am adding one grid view control, one button control and one drop down list control. Let's add the controls, open toolbox, checkbox list control, click that one. Now in this checkbox list control, I am adding a list items. Before adding the list items, let's visit Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. We we'll check the table and the column names. The table name is a product catalog contains six columns ID, product catalog, product name, product description, product price and product image. And as well as it contains five rows. Now I want to add the list items mobiles, TVs and laptops. So let's add these product catalog columns into the checkbox list. ASP list item. First one is the mobiles. ASP list items. The second one is the TV. And the third product is the laptops. That's it. We have added the product catalog items mobiles, TV, and laptops. After that, I'm adding the button control break open toolbox button control I'm changing the text property of the button search break I'm adding a label control to display the selected values of the checkbox list items go to toolbox again label control 
I'm deleting the text property of the label horizontal line and the last control I'm adding the grid view control open toolbox I'm expanding the data folder grid view control that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now right click the mouse go to view code in the view code I'm adding the namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client and the last namespace I'm adding using system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces now the next step is I'm adding the database in this server explorer open that one data connections right click that one add connection I'm adding a SQL server name after adding the SQL server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database I have selected test connection it succeeded ok ok and here the sample DB database is added under data connections now we need the data source of this sample DB right click the sample DB dot DBO go to properties in the properties in the connection string data source just copy this one let's add this data source in the web.config file open solution explorer web.config file open that one in the web.config file inside the configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source and the last one is a provider name which is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind now in the page load I'm binding the product catalog table into a grid view control string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding connection string which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding this main con object here string SQL query is equals to select start from the table name is a the table name is a product catalog copy this one this year SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a SQL query which is a command text and the second one is a connection object SQL con let's open the connection string SQL con dot open math SQL data adapter SDA is an object new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com data table DT is equals to new data table SDA SDA dot fill I'm filling the data with the data object DT data table object after that I'm adding the data source grid view one dot data source is equals to DT grid view one dot data bind method let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method so that's it in the page load event we have binded the product catalog table into a grid view control now before adding the search functionality with the checkbox control let's check the basic output Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code notice we got the checkbox list items mobiles TV and laptops button control and the table is binded into this grid view control
Now my next step is I'll make this checkbox list the horizontal direction. So when a user selects any of the particular list items, when the click button search, I want to get those mobiles and laptops results into this grid view control and as well as I want to display this list items, mobiles and laptops in the label control. So let's finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging. Switch to the source mode. In the checkbox list, the direction of the checkbox repeat direction is equals to horizontal. After that, switch to the design mode. Double click the button control search. And here we got the button click event string checkbox is equals to I'm adding for loop for int i is equals to 0 i is less than checkbox list dot items dot con property i plus plus now in this for loop I'm adding the if condition the selected checkbox value if checkbox list one dot items dot selected and now here in this if condition again I'm adding one more if condition if the selected checkbox list one or multiple items if checkbox double equals to notice here here I have given the checkbox double equals to which means the selected item is the string type only checkbox is equals to checkbox list one dot items i dot text else if the selected items more than one checkbox plus is equals to double equals to comma I'm separating the checkbox selected values with the comma plus checkbox list text copy this one and paste here the selected checkbox list values I want to display in the label control for that I have I'm using label control label one dot text is equals to checkbox the selected checkbox list items are adding into this label control or not I'm rerunning the browser see here we got the output after modification sum checkbox list controls and notice the selected values are displayed in the label controls if I select TV search TV now the last condition of the selected checkbox the items I want to display in this grid view control but one thing I want to mention here when I search for multiple items we have to put these values in a single quotes so the mobiles must be in a single quotes comma the TV must be in a single quotes comma and the laptops must be in the single quotes so let's finish the final code put this in a single quotes plus single quotes plus Let's copy this. Paste here. After that, instead of writing the SQL connection string again, I'm just copying this part and pasting here. Just I'm changing the select query where the column name is is the product catalog copy this one 
Hesia in plus plus I am adding this label one dot text. That's it. We have done the complete coding part to search the multiple criteria with checkbox list control. Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting the mobiles. Search. See here we got the results in the grid view control. It's displaying only the mobiles. And I select laptops. Search. See? And the grid view is showing only the mobiles and laptops from the product catalog table. When I select TV, search. The TV also we got. If I unselect anything, mobiles, search. And notice the mobile is removed from this grid view control. That's it.